Radyo Katipunan 87.9 FM Kamalayan sa mga isyong napapanahon, makisangkot at makiisa kasama ang simbahang lingkod ng bayan, ang socio-political apostolate ng kapisana ni Jesus. Ito ang Kwentuhang Bayan mula alas 11 ng umaga tuwing biyernes dito lang sa Radyo Katipuna 87.9 FM. Dahil naniniwala kami na posible ang isang mas mabuting lipunan at maaari itong simulan sa isang kwentuhan. Lamig, init, ulan, hangin, kumakalingang kalikasan, ating alagaan at ingatan. Kumusta na ang ating kalikasan? Pag-usapan natin ang kalagayan ng mundo at kung paano tayo makatutulong sa pagkalinga sa ating tahanan. Kasama si na Father J.M. Manzano ng Kapisanan ni Jesus at si Dr. Abel Shovey Milton. Ito ang Tatang Kalikasan sa Radyo Katipunan 87.9 FM. Oh! Ateneo! Fight! Ateneo! Fight! Ready! One, two! Fight! A! Fight! E! Fight! E! Fight! E! Fight! E! Fight! O! Fight! Blue! And white! The blue is white to go and fight! Fight! Six! Boom! Ba! Boom! Ra! 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 Radyo Katipunan News, Insights, Inspiration Radyo Katipunan Down from the hill and down to the world Radyo Katipunan The Voice of the Blue Eagle Mamangha sa lalim at ganda ng ating kultura at tiwang makabayan sa mga salita at pahina, sa tulong ng mga guro at manunulat ng panitikang Pilipino. Halina at tuklasin ang yaman ng ating panitikan, ang pamana ng ating lahi. Kasama si Binibining Andrea Trinidad, Ginoong Jethro Tinorio at Ginoong Yol Hamendang ng Kagawaran ng Filipino ng Pamantasang Ateneo de Manila. Ito ang Sari Sari. Ang Catholic Mass Media Awards Special Citation Awardee para sa pinakamagaling na palatuntunang pang-edukasyon sa radyo. Dito sa Radyo Katipunan 87.9 FM. Radyo Katipunan 87.9 FM. Radyo! 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 Katipunan! Pagpabalitang tumpak at tama Buhay atenista Sa loob, sa labas ng skwela Atin ibibida Lahat ng
Kaso, katipunero sugol Todo sa kayot, tulong at tulog Lipat na blue eagle, kaling giting na tigil Blue and white, one big fight It's time us. Join us for an evening of learning music and appreciating the art behind every hum, tune, and beat. Listen to engaging performances and insights from some of the top and upcoming musicians in the scene today. Tune in every Tuesday evening here on The Music Class. Let the music class begin. Isang mapagpalang gabi sa inyong lahat. Welcome to the Music Class, your music education program on Radio Katipunan 87.9 FM. We are also live on Facebook and YouTube. Listen, watch, and learn from our guests every Tuesday from 7 to 8 p.m. This is your maestro on air and online, Prof. Batanes, bringing an exciting new way 
to learn and appreciate music. Well, this evening is a grand and glorious feature of the pipe organ. We just heard Aaron Chan play at St. Stephen's in um, Binondo, Tondo, Manila, St. Stephen's Parish. And uh, we also have with us tonight our maestro, composer, organist, conductor, Alejandro Di Consolacion II. Good evening, uh, Maestro AJ and Aaron. Can you hear me? Hello. Oh, yes. yep. Magandang gabi. Please unmute. Good evening. Good evening. So, uh, ang topic natin ngayong gabi ay tungkol sa pipe organ. Pero syempre, ang mga guests natin ay multi-talented kasi. Uh, in fact, si si Aaron mamaya matutugtog na siya ng flute, no? So, uh, Aaron, good evening. Uh, your where san ka exactly? Uh, nasa St. Stephen's Parish. Okay. Uh, so, um hopefully makita sa screen, no? Sa sa ating mga live viewers, makita nila yung yung pipe organ. Tapos uh, uh your organist you play for the services there anong schedule mo sa St. Stephen pagkatapos uh Aaron uh, hello sir yeah, anyway uh, uh, um, let me just go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead, Aaron. As it, ah, okay. Uh, well, uh, sorry, made the topic anina, pero uh, I play uh, every second Sunday here at uh, Saint Stephen's uh, at uh, eight thirty a.m. for the worship service. Eight eight thirty sabi mo? Eight thirty? Ah, uh, yes, sir. Eight thirty a.m every second sunday 8:30 a.m. every sunday okay so um the the piece that we just heard uh, for your information is is actually uh, um i i did some research and and see, sir aj will have to correct me no pero ang sub, according to my research ito ay actually choral melody ni johan rudolf uh, ale um called liebster jesu wir sind hier and uh, or in english dearest jesus we are here and now see johan sebastian bach made it into a uh choral prelude uh tama ba sir aj a choral prelude no praise and uh lutheran hymn ah okay 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 Bla based on a lutheran hymn at uh ito ito yata yung composer yung sinabi ko na si johan rudolph uh anyway um Maraming si Johann Sebastian Bach obviously you no know, he was he, he's a uh, is he more known as an organist or as a uh what, what is he known for? Uh, marami ba siyang organ compositions? Well, uh he's known as a organist at his time when he was uh still alive. Uh he hold position as an organist uh I think for Weimar Schmidt Germany, no? and uh, he is recognized not as a composer, but as an organ as an organ virtuoso. So, as an okay. organ, uh, it, uh, it is uh, natural that most of his output, no? aside from vocal works or cantatas, we have uh, I think more than uh, uh, four hundred opus for organ alone. So that's a lot. And siya siguro yung pinaka, pinakamaraming composition sa organ. Uh, yeah, isa um, siya. Nung time ba? Oo. Alam ko si Johan Sebastian ba? Well, he was born in the year 1685, no? So, nung panahon ba na yun, uh, well, pipe organ, is it the same pipe organ that that uh, both of you are, are playing now? Uh, what's what's the difference? Well, uh, it's a pipe organ. I mean, the mechanism, how it functions. May mga pipes, 
keyboards, a pedal board. It's the same organ that we have now. Na may keyboard, may pipes, pedal board, and uh, it is installed in a particular building, church, concert hall. Uh, yung nga lang, ang kagandahan nun is, if you go to Germany, there are some portions there in Germany na makikita mo pa rin yung back organ. Exactly kung paano na ipapak hmm. instrument. Of course, there are only few intact. Pero, uh, that is the beauty of the organ. Eh. It's, uh, it can stand for ages and ages. No? Parang thousands of years nandiyan pa rin siya buhay ka rin. Hmm. At teka Maestro AJ, ano to, the, the electricity to, electric, ano, yung the way it, how it functions, pa, paano yun, nung panahon ni, ni yes, back, may electricity na ba noon? Paano yan? Wala pa electricity noon. So, actually, ang organ, no, nagpo-function siya because may blower ka. That is the I think. And uh, normally, in our time, yung blower is already electric. But before, it is unpump. Kung hindi naman pinapump by hand, Pwede siya by feet. Parang, you need actually two people. Oh my. <laughs> Laan yun, la- left and right, left and right, just to pump it regularly so the sound, the organ will sound. So at the time of Bach, yes, you need a people to help him to pump the blower. Wow. So if, um, what you're saying is, in Germany right now, meron pa rin ganyan, nag- nagpa-pump sila ng, ng organ. Meron pa rin, no? May mga organs pa rin. Kahit ngayon, may mga modern organs that is pattern at box time. That there's a duality on how to operate. Meron by hand, or by feet, or by using an electricity. Okay. Well, um... I'm not sure what's happening with our with our connection, but uh, definitely because we are in three different places. Uh, I'm supposed to be in Buswanga today, <laughs> but but actually um, you can see the uh, Radio Katipunan uh, background, and uh, of course Maestro AJ. I I asked him. Sabi ko possible kaya sa Manila Cathedral, sa Union Church of Manila. Pero ang ang hirap kasi syempre, gabi, no, yung show natin. But we wanted something live. So si si Aaron naman, good thing his his parish allowed him. So um, we would like to we would really like to thank Saint Stephen Parish for for allowing us to hear their their organ. Um, but in the meantime, we're talking about Bach and we're talking about him as an organist and as a composer. Okay. Now, uh, I would like to play. It's it's uh it's Sir AJ's AJ's t- turn, Maestro AJ's turn. Uh, a composition of uh, a- Maestro Alejandro Di Consolation II. This is an excerpt from his Misa Firenze 2014, and uh, this is an excerpt of the Gloria from Misa Firenze. This is the first part, uh, which we will play here on uh, Radio Katipuna. So, music please.
Thank you so much. Um, you just heard. So this is the Gloria, the first part of the Gloria from Misa Firenze. And this is a composition of our guest tonight, Maestro Alejandro Di Consolacion II. And I was, uh, as I was mentioning, uh, um, Sir Alejandro is both a composer, an organist, and later on we have another surprise. But this performance, this was, uh, uh, the conductor is uh, Nian Hen Xiang, and uh, he, he conducted the Taipei Male Choir, and this was at the National Concert Hall in Taiwan. Let me ask uh, Sir AJ, Maestro AJ, our composer, to tell us more about this composition. Can you can you tell us more? Anong year ba to? 2014, you composed it, or was it performed in 2014? Thank you for that, John. No? Actually, Mika Ferenze was uh, written in 2014. I was commissioned by the I pay male choir to write a, a substantial piece for male choir. And uh, it is a wonderful opportunity because the National Philharmonic Hall in Taiwan have this wonderful pipe organ, a big organ, a big instrument. And uh, it is a perfect, you can see, a perfect, exa a perfect example of collaboration between a composer and uh, a choir. If I will have an organ mass and they agreed no? they're very happy that uh, we start collaborating actually the the mass itself is not a congregational liturgical mass it's a mass concert mass no but uh you can actually use it in a special liturgy for example if you are doing uh, an organ inauguration no? but it's not actually a congregational mass it's a it's a it's a concert mass and um uh, the language of that uh, composition, the dynamic promo, is uh, in text, uh, Latin text, the original uh, mass text, Roman text, Latin. And it's written for a baritone solo, Will Guard. So it's a wonderful, you know, a wonderful uh, opportunity because uh, as a composer, you, you work with uh, neighboring countries in Asia to have good choirs, good organ, good instrument. So what I did in this kind of uh, composition is I inserted Asian elements. Uh, that's why you can mm -hmm. hear the phonic music on the composition. And at the same time, a Gregorian tem uh, tema or themes uh, from the Gregorian chant uh, to uh, symbolize the tradition of the Catholic Church. So that is a uh, that is a wonderful uh, experience both for me and the performer. I say, uh, it's a hybrid of uh, musical styles. Sir AJ, uh, uh, let me ask you this now. The, the venue, kasi, the venue is the National Concert Hall in Taipei. Does that mean the, the National Concert Hall in Taipei, they have a built-in pipe organ in the concert hall? Yeah. Grabe naman, no? It's a, it's a big organ for four manuals. <laughs> uh, and then it's really huge. It's a, uh, it's a big instrument. Sa, dito ba sa Pilipinas, may ganyan ba tayo? Concert hall na may big organ? Well, hindi wala, no? <laughs> wala pa tayo. Wala, ano. no? And I hope, no? Kapag nagkaroon ng concert hall, uh, they considered uh, pipe organ because, you know, there are a lot of orchestral repertoire with organ. Mm -hmm. Oo. Oh. no? Yung organ symphony number no. 3. And then here goes the Mahler symphonies number two and number nine, number eight. No, sorry. Uh, all of them have a big organ part, and it's really good. I say, not only not only the organ is associated in church, but it is also associated as a secular instrument 
which is actually mm. it's parted, no? Hindi naman church instrument a pipe organ before, eh, before, eh, uh, I don't know. But uh, it is actually uh, an instrument secular, and then later on well, adapted with the church. If if you see organs in a concert hall, you hear it more often as a concert instrument. Hmm. Yeah. Well, alam mo, uh, ang, ang dami talaga nating natututunan. No? Uh, uh, si, si Judge Glenda Pasiwagan sa Batanes, uh, sabi niya magandang gabi. And then si Sir June Fernandez, who is uh, actually one of our admins of the Blue Eagles uh, uh, page ng uh, Ateneo, uh, Blue Eagles uh, page, uh, or, or group, may say. Ma, uh, um, uh, ang dami pati nating viewers tonight. So, uh, I guess uh, ang number one goal natin ay well ma- ma-appreciate talaga nila tong uh, pipe organ as a concert concert organ as well kasi syempre kilala nila to sa simbahan eh di ba pero dito sa music class syempre ating gusto natin uh, ma-highlight to and katulad ng sabi mo sana meron din no sa uh, meron din tayong concert hall ngayon sa mga simbahan natin Okay, and and then I'll segue to 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 Aaron after this. Uh, ang mas uh, like Manila Cathedral, uh, sa Union Church of Manila. Uh, ano na yung mga simbahan na nakapag concert kana? Parang concert style. Like I I know sa Bamboo Organ Festival, meron silang concert ano rin doon, no pwede. Ah, uh, marami ba pwede ka mag concert? Well, it depends, ano. Or pero strict na, may strict na, may strict na simbahan na kahit na may pipe organ sila, hindi ka pwede mag-concert doon. Well, ang kagandahan ngayon, nung in-install itong mga pipe organs na, like say, yung sumula ng Manila Cathedral, they already have the regular organ festival. Uh, it's oh, also good. Inyas, San Agustin, uh, and then recently itong Loreto Church, ito sa Sampalok, Manila. No? Uy, they bago have, yan. Oh. Oh, they have actually... Ano, no, uh, regular concerts. And, uh, and nakakatuwa because these are both Protestant churches and Roman Catholic churches are doing already a regular mm. organ uh, concert. Kung hindi man organ solos yung madidinig mo, it is essential that organ is part of the choir as a companist or a accompaniment. Uh-huh. Or probably okay. uh, uh, as, as a solo instrument. So, yung, kagaya nung tinupog ni Aaron kanina, it's a choral prelude. You know, you mm. will probably here before the start of the service or probably in the offertory no? or post-loop. No? So there are some portions already that the organ was given a chance to shine on its own. Hindi lang Okay. Aaron, what about John sa St. Stephen? Sa St. Stephen Parish, may mga... Do, do you have concerts there? Uh, organ concerts? Do they... Or or is it mainly just uh, for for church service? I, I I'm not sure if you you have the mic with you, but you can answer it later if you want after after playing the flute. Uh, if you are, yeah, if if we can, if we uh, oh we can. I'll say yes again. Can you answer Hello. us? Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. We can hear you. From church services, uh, well yearly, me choir concert, yung choir. Uh, minsan ginagamit din yung organ to accompany the choir uh, during those concerts. Yeah, hello, sir. Okay. 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 So, um, but b- before we we talk more about the organ, and uh, talaga multiple talented, uh, multi talented, multiple tuloy, multi talented ang mga guests natin. Um, we, I want to ask uh, Aaron this time. You know, Aaron is an alumnus of Ateneo, and uh, he is one of the one of the few first per- performers of Radio Katipunan in the music class in way back in 2018. And uh, but mainly he just played the flute for us. Uh, but uh, tonight. Um, he's going to play an a uh, flute, but unaccompanied, an unaccompanied uh, flute piece. It's called um, Capri Caprice Number no. One for flute. This is part of the Twenty Six Little Caprices, Opus Thirty Seven, by Joachim um, Anderson. 
and uh, Aaron Chan on the flute. Bravo, Aaron! Bravo. Thank you. Really, it's 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 quite a different sound, no? Uh, if you listen, if you listen to the, this is a surround sound of of the uh, church at, at Saint Stephen, and and you can just imagine. Um, hopefully, maybe they can Aaron, and later you can show the the whole uh, how big how big is the church, and then. Uh, you can tell us uh, what is the capacity para para talaga makita nila no gaano gaano ka uh, well dinig na dilik tong uh, flute mo no now um now Aaron uh, I want to focus on you uh before we go back to to maestro AJ no uh, when did you I didn't know that you play the pipe organ when you were my student. So, uh, for for electives in Atene. So, when did you start learning the the pipe organ? Uh, I started uh, after college, na uh, yung tuloy tuloy talaga, 2014. But I remember high school palang summer lang nag meron I think two summers. My piano teacher also the organist of this church, si uh, Mam Patricia Lim. Uh, she started me na rin a little bit sa organ. And then, uh, after college... Oh, okay. Uh, oh, nga, uh, so, si Ma'am Patricia Lim, no? Uh, so, she's a pianist but also plays the organ. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, like my, my mother, actually, my mother is a pianist but then eventually studied the organ. Um, sir, sir AJ, tanong ko nga sa'yo... Ano bang ma uh, ano bang pwede mong advice sa mga pianist? Uh, maganda bang pag-aralan din ng organ para or pa, well ako hirap ako hirap ako sa organ eh no nag-aral ako kasi yung pedal niya no hindi ko kayang biglang dumami yung iko-control mo eh na na ano yung coordination but uh, para sa pwede, mga pianist ba would you advise them to study? Oh, uh, yeah. organ? Uh, uh, of course. Lagi ko sinasabi kapag may tumutuktok o nag-aaral ng organ sa akin. I will ask them to study piano. Kasi napakahalaga ng piano skills. Organ. And everything actually starts sa manual. Eh. Yung keyboard skills. No? Uh, yung precision ng pagtutug mo. It's very important. Uh, yung, yung technique sa, ano, sa, sa scales. No? arpeggios, lahat yan, ano, lahat yan kailangan sa pagtutug na organ. And then later on, if you have that develop yung piano skills, no, high level yung piano skills, no, eventually yung coordination ng paa, madali mo na maihapon. Uh, uh, maraming natatakot. Pero pwede ba kayang ano? Sir, Sir AJ, pwede ba kayang uh, uh, you, you organ organ pro, ano purely organ lang ang aralin mo o, o kailangan talaga may piano skills may mga so, nag-i-start no ng talagang organ organ simula talaga sa organ pero nahihirapan sila nahihirapan kasi pagdating sa organ at least ang ideas ng brain mo kaya mo mag-two part invention eh 
or three parts in four class no? or nakakapag four part harmony ka on which ito yung basic elements ng piano studies diba mm-hmm. lahat ng pagdaan sa two part invention ni Bach no and then later on magli-lead yan sa well tempered clavier diba may prelude may fugue mm-hmm. so at this polyphonic playing natutunan mo sa piano and also how you you develop your your flexibility sa uh, fingering no so, yung yung tamang ano tamang tamang pagtipak ng keyboard o yung attack and release mo sa keyboard maayos eventually yun ang kailangan sa organ eh aha uh-huh. oo di ba okay. oh ang sinasabi nila baka iba yung touch yes definitely iba yung touch kasi nga wind instrument si organ percussion instrument si piano kasi may hammer di ba pero eventually if you program your mind hmm, tama, tama. na iba yung attack and release element ng sensation o oh, yung yung feeling no iba it's actually the same concept in principle uh, yung nga lang uh, ang piano gumagamit ka ng sustain pedal di ba to sustain the sound or to create phrases ang Yeah, ang, ang organ naman is really more on finger legato. Which is actually, uh, marami mga magagaling na pianist uh-huh. na nag-organ na ang legato nila talaga daliri. Hindi siya dependent sa, sa pedal, no? sa sustained pedal. Kaya ano eh, kaya uh-huh. ganda luminia. No? So it, sa akin na, as a, as a keyboard uh, player, I, I actually wanted to, to say to myself, I'm not actually organist, but I'm a keyboardist. I, I played piano, I played mm. organ. Na napakakalaga ng element na maintindihan mo yung difference ng tatlo. Pero isa lang yung pinag, pinanggalingan niya, no? which is yung technique na natutunan ko sa piano. Hindi naman ako nagbabago ng technique. Eh. Yun ang importante dapat malaman natin. Yung sabi ng mga iba, when you started how to play the piano, when you go to the organ, you will change definitely your technique. No, it's not true, no? Uh, you will learn a different technique when you play your feet. <laughs> okay, oh, okay, yes. Story, yes. No? And later on, humahabol yun. <laughs> if you practice, no? Basta high level yung playing ng kamay. No? Yun important. Oh. And then also, alam mo, one important aspect of piano playing is you develop your sight reading. Tama, tama. Ang mga organist na nasa church, for example, no? Uh, you are in Union Church, Aaron is in St. Stephen, lahat kami kumakanta ng hymns every week. Linggo-linggo yan, bago ang hymns. No? And if you don't have developed your sight reading skills, medyo mahirap yun. Kasi, linggo-linggo, iba-ibang repertoire. Plus the anthems na tinutugtog mo. No? Na talagang, sometimes very pianistic yung akampanya niya. Inagawa ko lang sa organ. At saka alam mo, Sir AJ, napansin ko, yung pipe organ, ah, lagi kong ine-emphasize yung pipe, no, pipe organ kasi syempre marami na sa simbahan ngayon nagkaroon tayo ng ano eh, di ba, electone organ, yung Yamaha, tapos meron tayong syempre may mga pang jazz organ, meron naman yung talagang keyboard lang diyan diyan sa Radyo Katipunan, yung ginagamit namin, electric keyboard 'yon, hindi siya piano. Pero napansin ko pag may pipe organ ka, parang yun na rin yung conductor mo eh, yun ang sinusundan ng lahat pag kumakanta, tama ba yun? Yes, ang purpose kasi talaga ng pipe organ is to feel the building. Puruin yung oh, sound. Okay. Sa building. That's why, when you are in a good building with a good organ, say, Union Church or Manila Cathedral, in Stephen, kaya yung hymn singing is so alive, lahat ng tao kumakanta, it is because you feel stereo inside eh, para ka nasa loob ng sinihan, no? na naririnig mo yung eh, naririnig mo yung sensation ng sound na nag-grow sa katawan mo. So, that is the spirit of the organ. That's, that's why it is encouraged as a church instrument. Okay. Aside from aesthetics of okay. being sacred or tunog a uh, church, no? but the aesthetics itself na kaya niyang mag-lead ng congregation to sing. Well, so, um, we, we can talk more about no leading and all, pero alam mo, excited na kaming lahat eh. Sabi ko kanina may surprise kami, di ba, sa audience natin. So, yung, yung surprise natin ay si 
si Maestro Alejandro Consolacion naman as a conductor. Yo. Kasi kilala natin siya, no? kita natin, oh, parang din tumutugtog na org, organ, kilala natin siyang composer. Pero alam nyo ba, for the past few years, siya ay ano, isang conductor rin siya at meron siyang grupo na Cantus. But um, before we ask uh, Sir AJ about Cantus, meron tayong uh, excerpt again. Pero this time, it's also Gloria, but this time it's a composition of Antonio Vivaldi. And... This is the Pedrini Ensemble with Cantus and Maestro AJ Consolacion conducting. So ladies and gentlemen, let us hear Vivaldi's Gloria with Maestro AJ Consolacion conducting. <laughs> Kanina pa pala itong uh, uh, shout-out sa'yo eh. Si Josh Bustillo. Sabi niya, shout-out naman po, idol, Maestro AJ. God bless your life more. Sabi niya. Okay. Oh. Sa ating mga listeners, sa ating mga listeners, no, pag merong, if you have any questions for for Sir AJ or for Aaron and then uh yung yung about the organ or or their compositions or the flute um you can watch uh they will be able to watch this after the the show and they will be able to comment uh later no but in the meantime i would like uh maestro alejandro to talk about cantus yeah ano ba tong ano ba tong cantus at talagang uh, mukhang something different ah uh, orchestra and choir and everything. Ano to, Sir AJ? Well, alam mo, John, ang first love ko is choir. Hindi composition, hindi piano. First love ko, choir. So, I was uh, a Knights of the Altar nung bata ko, and I was inspired with this wonderful choir sa San Isidro Parish. That's a tough. And De La Remente, Rodolfo De La Remente, is our conductor. Girl. And I hear Vivaldi's Gloria when I was young. I hear all these Andal's Messiah choruses when I was a kid. So, yun yung early exposure ko sa choral music. Na later on, of course, 
knowing the Madrigal singers and knowing all these great choir singers. It's really my first love, choir. So when uh, there's a chance and opportunity na uh, arise, for example, they ask me, no, EJ, can you form a small group, small say, a small group of singers, etc. And uh, we we form this campus as a as a choir uh, who can sing uh, sacred music, and then eventually we form it as a regular choir already. Uh, we wanted it a choir to sing in a church so that uh, we can go and grow spiritually, and at the same time. Uh, harvest and, uh, and and also to hone our singing skills and our repertoire, mostly uh, church repertoire. Then uh, I started also na, uh, I need a choir because most of my liturgical pieces, it needs to have a choir no? to, to, to record and to, uh, to... Well, alam niyo po, Si Sir Alejandro ay uh, in demand yan sa lahat ng mga choirs. Kasi alam mo, isa yan sa, si Sir Alejandro, isa yan sa pinakahumble na choral, choral composer. Kung, kung alam nyo lang po. Um, alam nyo, uh, syempre di ba, ano tayo eh, nasa, nasa social media tayo, we are live via Zoom, live at the St. Stephen, live at home, everything, and then Radio Katipunan, there at the Jesscom, ang daming nangyayari, di ba? Tapos nakikita nyo ang Radio Katipunan, um, we are uh, actually promoting it on Twitter or X. Ayokong tawagin X eh, pa, mas maganda yung pangalang Twitter. Nasa ano rin siya, nasa Instagram din siya, nasa Facebook. Eh, Kung alam mo yung, alam mo ba Sir AJ yung gagawa ka ng reel, di ba? Gagawa ka ng reel sa, sa Facebook or gagawa ka ng reel sa Instagram. Ngayon, pag sinearch mo yung pangalan na Alejandro Consolacion, grabe, sobrang daming choral compositions ang makikita mo dyan. Kasi... Ilang ilang misa na ba ang, ano how many masses have you composed? Diba? Iba-iba eh. May Immaculada, Firenze, at ilan, nakailang misa ka na ba, uh, Father, ay, Father Tuloy, uh, <laughs> Maestro Alejandro? Well, actually, hindi naman, John, kote lang ang mas ko. Uh, akala nila madami. Oh. Pero madaming nagpe-perform kasi ng misa Immaculada. And maraming umagaw. Oh. Misa Solemne, as a congregational mass. And then later on, I did several projects sa uh, mga iba-ibang organizations. Kanyari, uh, Santo Nino Foundation. That's why there's a Santo Santo Nino ng Malolos. No? And then La Nina Maria because it's another organization. So I respond to their invitation by writing the mass. I think you also had a project with Jesscom before. Meron kang mga ano rin with them eh. Oh, uh, kasi nakikita ko rin yung pangalan mo eh sa mga ibang recordings o oh, ng Jesco uh, no? Yeah, uh, no yung uh, Salve Regina. Uh, ah, okay. Pandemic. Uh, okay. Oo, oh, tapos alam mo, hindi pero talaga ha, yung uh, sa, sa Instagram or sa Facebook, pag sinearch mo yung pangalan mo, talagang ang daming lumalabas na na music mo na, na pwedeng gamitin as real. Diba? na uh, and uh, ay uh, nakalimutan ko bagos uh, lahat paki-post natin yung ano yung uh, uh, well, let's ask uh, to, to post your yung your invitation of uh, yung poster ng Cantus pala kailangan mapakita natin sa screen lalo na sa ating mga uh, live uh, viewers para malaman nila yeah actually yung choir na narinig niyo kanina it's the Cantus no and uh, we are actually uh, inviting more singers to say we will be we are dreaming no, of uh, getting a good project by next year to record music or to help also uh, budding liturgical composers no? not only me but other liturgical composers incoming 
so that they will get a good recording of their own words of their composition. And Cantus is uh, uh, doing this project by uh, doing new music recording of liturgical songs. So if you are into it, we are singing every Saturday of 2nd and 4th, Saturday of the month at uh, Holy Family Church in uh, And we start rehearsing 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So if you wanted to, to join, actually, you can send me a private message via Facebook. You can search my name. And send me a message and then I'll tell you the procedures. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Sir AJ. Um, gusto ko rin ipakita yung Again, no, because I'll be promoting this until un, until the, the concert. This is the Basil Valdez Basil Valdez concert, and this is uh for the uh for the prelature of of Batanes. You know, I'm uh, as you all know, I'm I'm actually from Batanes, and if you look at that, this is on December 12, and this is in uh, Marikina at the parish there in Marikina, and if you're interested to to buy. Gets. Um, this is to a uh, multi-purpose uh, center in Batanes. Twenty-five years. Shannon at multi-purpose center. So, um, yan din yung uh, feast of Our Lady of uh, Guadalupe, if I'm not mistaken. So, um, please do uh, support uh, this concert. Like, but in the meantime, of oh, oh, I would say one last piece on the organ since uh, it's very important to see the live live organ. And uh, I wonder if we can share on screen, uh, siguro no, yung, yung two screens ni Aaron para makita nyo talaga kung gano kalaki yung pipe organ no, when, when he plays uh, later. And uh, Aaron will be playing a hymn it's a short, uh, short hymn, but very popular hymn called "Great Is Thy Faithfulness." So, Aaron Chan on the organ, live at Saint Stephen's Parish. Thank you so much, Aaron. And as you, we prepare for our final remarks, uh, um, I will wait for you, Aaron. But in the meantime, let's talk to more to, to Sir Sir AJ, Maestro Alejandro Consolacion. Um, anything else you would like to uh, maybe to promote, Sir AJ? Any other events happening? Alam ko malapit ng Pasko. Ang ganda ng video nyo kanina eh, sa Gloria, with Christmas tree and all. San ba yung venue na yun? San yung ginawa yun, yung recording na yun? But the recording was uh, from, for the Bibal publications. No? Oh, uh, wow. When they have a series of productions for ano, for education and, you know, classical music is part of the, the uh, important aspect of music education. So, we recorded that Vivaldi Gloria. Say so, kailangan Christmas music. That's why may mga Christmas tree, may mga. Mm. Mm. Yeah. 
Okay. O al- alam ko maraming marami ng ano eh upcoming Christmas concerts. In fact, hindi lang uh, tonight nga eh dapat uh, pero syempre meron tayong radio program pero tonight sa uh, Ayala nga yung yung lights, they will light the ano and and they've started the bus early as September here in the Philippines. Pero um Aaron, what about you? Any any events coming up or yeah for your parish, uh, St. Stephen Parish, any uh, I don't know cantatas or Handel's Messiah. What what do you normally have there in your in your parish, uh, Aaron? Well, most likely next year na yung uh, yung choir concert talaga. Uh, usually October or November. Oh well, me well, they've asked me to play the flute also this November. We have a revival night on November 19. Ah uh, well, you can also watch uh, Revival December Night, 20, okay. December twenty four, sir. Uh, yung midnight mass. Oh. Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, Meron kay uh, midnight mass, John. Oh. Yes. Mm-hmm. Meron din ba kayong ano? Uh, I will ask Sir AJ kasi si si Sir Alejandro nag nagpupunta ako pit talagang pinapanood ko si Sir Sir ano eh, Alejandro sa Union Church of Manila. Alam ko meron silang ano eh Thanksgiving ano di ba? Uh, Thanksgiving uh, e- event to eh itong service and uh, yeah, this is a joint Thanksgiving service di ba Sir AJ? Ah uh, oh actually it's an annual no it's a joint service of three church uh, na, na international church the Union Church of Manila the Santuario de San Antonio de Padua in Makati and then also the Church of the Holy Trinity, Episcopal Church, ito dito sa, ano din, sa Makinli, Makati. And we, this normally, this church joined together to celebrate Thanksgiving. And this year, it will be on November 19 at Sanctuario de San Antonio Parish, uh, 7 o'clock p.m. So if you can join us, there will be good music, I'm telling you. And uh, of course, there's lots of turkey after the service. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So ito is sa Santuario de San Antonio, di ba? Sa Forbes. Yeah. Oo. Okay. Meron din ba diyan sa St. Stephen, ano, Thanksgiving, Aaron? Ah, uh, I oh, we celebrate naman yung sa November na Thanksgiving Sunday. Uh, pero ay, ah, Sunday niyo kinakain. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ah, uh, walang turkey. Okay. So yung yung December yung sinasabi mong midnight uh, Christmas Eve mass, no? Na meron din sa yes, Union yung, Church. Okay. Yung nine lessons Oo. and Oh, okay. Ah, uh, meron dito ng ano, ha, Sir AJ, sabi niya, um sikat ka daw uh, among the ABRSM. Okay. Oo nga naman at um may license ka rin sa ano, sa harpsichord, sa ano. Ang ang daming achievements kasi ni Sir AJ na uh, ano nag after ng ABRSM after ng studies niya dito sa Philippines nag masters pa siya sa Westminster Choir College di ba uh, siguro uh, just a little bit about that uh, history of your life bago natin pakinggan yung 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 final performance or AJ okay so actually I studied composition sa uh, in Scholastica no? that was uh, in 1997 and I really expect Lucio San Pedro to be my teacher, you know, Maestro San Pedro. But uh, sad to say, he left because he is retiring. So I studied with Jonas Baez and Father Manuel Maramba. So they are great teachers in my life that I still be thankful. You know? And then I never finished my composition you know, because uh, I become more interested with the organ. And sad to say, there's no institution mm. in the that offers a degree in pipe organ. No, at that time. So I am I'm a good teacher here in the Philippines. So I moved to go to UK, not go there physically, but it's a stepping stone. So what happened, I got a, a support from the embassy no, because of my good friend from uh, uh, British school, Manila, Peter Stapleton, who is also an organist, introduced me to this ABRSM program that I got my license in, equivalency to bachelor's level. So when I applied for Westminster, I got a scholarship because I became an organ scholar at the Princeton University Chapel. So uh, as an organ scholar, you learn a lot of tricks 
bags of tricks for organ playing, not only in the solo but also in uh, accompaniment. And then of course, uh, I studied organ in my in uh, graduate level. So I went back here because ito pala i plug ko ha. If you wanted to study organ, now I'm teaching at the Central Escolar University in Manila. Uh, we okay, accept yes. organ majors and we accept masters in organ. So this is a new uh, okay, that you can uh, apply. And we also uh, accept students who just as studio lessons. No? Kunyari, you just want to learn or further your organ skills. No? Uh, you can have one-on-one -on -one lessons. Uh, with me, and then also my student who is now also teaching there, Rafael Andaya, the organist of the Manila Cathedral. So it's a good, ano, it's a good, uh, you know, decision that I took. I went away, I came back here because I, I really oh, okay. that the education of our future organists are still growing. So it's okay. So I'm sure we, after this uh, program tonight, we we will be talking more with uh, Aaron, Sister AJ, and Akono. But but our time is up. We really have to to go. And thank you really for for the inspiration. Thank you to Saint Stephen uh, Parish, especially Aaron Aaron Chan, and. Uh, Thank you for tuning to the music class. Join us again next Tuesday. Um, this will be 7 to 8 p.m. every Tuesday, an evening of appreciating and learning more about music. And uh, as a closing number, we are going to hear um, Maestro Alejandro Consolacion playing uh, on Widor's Toccata with a brass and uh, brass uh Quintet conducted by Mikey Jacinto, and this is at the San Beda University, Tapal, Manila. And thank you all again for uh, being here with us tonight. This is your Radio Katipunan's Maestro on air and online, Prof. Batanes, bidding you good night, and thank you all for supporting the music class. Dios mamahas.
It's time for the music class. Join us for an evening of learning music and appreciating the art behind every hum, tune, and beat. Listen to engaging performances and insights from some of the top and upcoming musicians in the scene today. Tune in every Tuesday evening here on The Music Class. Let the music class begin. Radio, Radio.